on the tail of Prickly the Tomcat from the work Marabou Norless by Robert Smith III. There once lived a Tomcat and Prickly was his name. He had a bag full of thorns for this reason Prickly was his name. Prickly was not like the other Tomcats and not because he had thorns. He had unusual spots and stripes in addition to having a back full of thorns. One day Prickly went venturing out just looking for something to do. While he was out venturing, he did see something quite new. There were many buffalo roaming around, but these buffalo had wings. Not only could they walk and run, but they could also fly by the reason of having wings. And as Prickly did look around at this marvelous and mysterious place, he saw many strange creatures. There were many strange creatures in this place. Prickly had a love for the other animals, the other creatures, for he felt like he belonged, for he himself was quite a strange creature. For this reason, he felt as though he belonged. And Prickly did notice a throne full of thorns and a crown. And the throne did welcome him to come and sit down. And when on the throne Prickly did sit, the sky did turn to fire. And a voice in the sky spoke saying, Welcome back, sire. And the other creatures loved Prickly and accepted him as their king. I would imagine that Prickly reigned as king forever and evermore there in the land of strange creatures as king. And this is the tale, the tale of Prickly the Tomcat, a story told down through the ages. The tale of Prickly the Tomcat. The story right there is called The Tale of Prickly the Tomcat from the work Marabou Nordless by Robert Smith III.